just a couple of quick circuits just to prove it flies it's nice and slow smile to the camera come this way over here no that's the crosswind there folks Okay, here we go guys, this is the weir, which I've been promising to put on video. When I could get out, I came out this afternoon nice and quiet, nobody here. Look at that. That is going pretty damn good now, I think. But it's so ugly, isn't it, Rich? Oh, it's so ugly. <laughs> I'll just do a couple of easy left circuits, that's all I want to do, which I don't feel particularly comfortable with this camera strapped on. See if I can get it down a bit lower. Come down, baby. Hey, Dave Mule, what do you think of that one, mate? I oh, know it's not as good as yours. It's not bad. Very noisy motor on this thing. Screams. And into the wind. Look at those beautiful clouds. Wow. Now, can you get a bit? Just sit there, baby. Sit there, come on. Don't touch the ground. That's it. Bit of a wobble. Nothing else, mate. Back again. Come on. I haven't done the touch and go yet. I'm not going to either. Maybe I should do. Maybe I should do a touch and go. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if I can. Come around. It's like ballooning up there a bit. Yes, it will touch and go. <laughs> Not very good, I must admit. Just come back and land now, that's all I need. Just a short flight. Come on, this way, but I might go to the left. Come back! Hmm. These are slightly larger blades. Blades. With this size model, I would usually be running like a 22, 23 inch blade. These are a 25 inch blade, and these are thicker than normal. I'm normally using quarter inch 6 mil. These are 9 mil. Why? Because I had a whole stack of 9 mil balsa, and I couldn't find a use for it. Uh, motor's in there, of course. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be in there. And ta da! That pops off. Where are we? Hang on. That pops off. To show. It's not focusing. See the battery? The pilot is just sort of a. Uh, just looking around the corner. Oh, I know, I've got too much zoom. 